So today we're roasting radishes. Now, if you've never tried this, you've got to try it, really. If you've only had your radishes raw, let's say you chopped them up super fine like I do and you toss them in your salad, well, roasting them is gonna take them to a different level and it makes a wonderful side dish. So let's say you wanna cut back on your carbs a little bit, you can do it with this recipe or you know mix it in with some potatoes or just have them plain. They're very similar to roasted potatoes. You're gonna love the flavor. They're crispy on the outside and they're nice and tender on the inside. And like I said, they're very easy and quick to put together, make a great side dish with grilled you know, steak or chicken or fish or whatever you have. You're gonna love it. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after our chef joke. I've got a couple of chef jokes for you today. We're gonna to start off with this one and the second one will be a little bit later. What do you call something that's a little bit rad, but not too rad? Radish. Now, if you're wondering why I started telling chef jokes, because it hasn't been that long, stay tuned and I'll tell you at the end of the video. So here are our radishes. They are organic, as you can see. And we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off all the greenery here, but keep that. Don't throw it away because it's edible and it's, you know, has some good nutrition in it. You can use it in your salad. You can put it in a smoothie, whatever you want. So I'm just gonna take these off and then we're gonna rinse them. And after we rinse them, then I'm gonna trim off both ends and we're gonna cut them up. We're gonna cook these on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. You wanna preheat your oven to 425 degrees. And we wanna take our radishes, place them on here, and you want them to be in a single layer. You want everyone to touch the bottom of the pan. Now to season these up, you can use pretty much any spices that you like. If you have favorites, go ahead and use them. But you wanna start with some olive oil. So I'm gonna drizzle a little olive oil over the top here. Not too much, just enough to coat them. And I'm gonna be using, I got my little collection here of some parsley, dried parsley, dried basil, some garlic powder, some pepper, and some salt. But you could use anything you like, you know, smoked paprika comes to mind, chili powder. I mean, just pretty much anything you wanna do. So feel free to experiment and have fun with it. So I like to just rub, you know, coat these and just rub them uh, completely with the oil on all sides. And then we'll start adding the spices. Here's some salt, some pepper, garlic powder. And if you wanna use fresh garlic, you can do that as well. Here's some dried basil. You could use fresh at the end, you could do that as well. So, you know, it's just whatever you like. The world is your radish. <laughs> I kind of like to, you know, coat them a little bit more, just toss them in all the spices, and that's pretty much all there is to it. I, I got my oven preheated to 425. We're gonna put these in, we're gonna check them in about, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes. They'll probably take about somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes, just depending on the size and how you know crispy and, and crunchy you like them. So let's put these in the oven. So the radishes are cooking away. I'm gonna turn them over at about 15 minutes or so, halfway through the cooking time, just to kind of you know get them to brown up all over. And now it's time for chef joke number two. What do you call a horse that's mildly cool. Horseradish. Our radishes, roasted radishes, are done. And I cooked mine for about 40 minutes. I like to get a real nice crispy edge on them. You might not like that so much, so you could take them out at 30, but man, I tell you, that crispy edge, these are dynamite. I wished I'd have made more now, but I didn't. So I'm gonna serve these up and I've chopped up a little bit of fresh parsley, put a little bit of fresh parsley on there. Look at that, it's beautiful. And then I'm gonna taste one of these and I'll let you know what, I've, what I think. Mm. They're nice and juicy on the inside. They're crispier on the outside, which is nice. You get that caramelization, it sweetens them up. There is no peppery bite to these now. I mean, it's very mild. 
You're gonna love these. These are, make a great side dish. Mm. Please try these. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And if you like this video, smash the old like button for me. Okay, so here's why I started telling these silly little chef jokes. So back in 2019, January, my father passed away. And prior to that, he would watch my videos and he would say, Robin, you, why don't you tell them a joke? Tell your fans a joke, make them smile, make them laugh. And I kept saying, no dad, you know, I can't do that. That's your thing. He used to do that in our restaurant, tell people jokes and had them laughing over the silliest little jokes you'd ever hear. And so I never did it. And then the pandemic hit. And then I kept thinking about it. It kept coming back to me. And so I decided, okay, I'm just gonna do it. So I started doing it in his honor and you know, everybody, well, most people seem to enjoy it. So that's why I do it. If I can just make you smile just a little bit, well, I think I've done my job. So thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and leave me a comment. Have a beautiful day.